creating offense at this time of the year about getting to those dirty areas, especially when the time and space is so limited, Tom? Huh? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's something that we've talked about and something we've got to drill into our guys on a regular basis when we do it. You know, we're good and we're tough to stop, but when we don't do it, you know, it makes it a little easier on the opposition. So the guys understand that it's not like they're doing it on purpose. And it's just a mindset and they're sometimes trying to do too much because they want to get back into the race so bad. Is there an analytic that you guys study? Rebounds in front? Uh, of come on, here, here we go, Harvey. No, no, but you I, haven't I, talked I, about analytics all year. But, but I mean, um, it, it, it's, it's a part of it. it it's, a, it's a piece. Of, you just got to get bodies and pucks going to the net. Um, you know, that's pretty simple. I mean, you, you guys with the analytics, it's just a, it's a piece of the puzzle, and we put part of the team together based on that. But no way have we done 100 percent of it. At the end of the day, it's like we just said, it's getting into the dirty areas and you know taking a few you know sticks, I guess, to the areas you don't want to take sticks to to score goals. It's it's pretty simple. I mean, the teams that win and the teams that score a lot go to those areas, and we've shown we can do it in a lot of opportunities, like we did on the West Coast. And we're just going to get back to playing that way. So I guess that answers your questions on the analytics. Just hey, in front of the net. Yeah, right. How much? How much?